Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to a new episode of our Fixed Perspective Scroller. Today we're going to learn how to make the NPC give us a reward, which in this case is going to be only experience since we haven't set the inventory, but of course eventually it's going to reward us with money and items and experience and anything else you would like to do. So let's get started. So since we're going to make the NPC reward us, we're going to mainly focus on the NPC controller. However, we need to do some small changes in the player controller. And I want to add this line here, a public static player controller called main. And what this is going to do is just hold a reference, just like when we have the quest manager, we have, for example, oops, um, in the quest manager, we have an instance. We also have that on the UI manager, so for player, we're going to call it main because he's going to be the main player. And in the start, add this. If main equals null, then set the main to this. So now that we have a reference to the main player, the one we are controlling, we are going to go to the NPC controller and we're going to create a new function. Void receive completed quest. And this function is going to be called by the NPC when we press the complete button. So <clears throat> we need a parameter here and the parameter is going to be a quest. So telling the NPC, hey, we just finished this quest. Now give us just our reward or whatever you need to happen in your game. Now for this case, we're going to set the rewards on the player. So we need to check if there are rewards or not. So we're going to use the quest dot reward class and inside we can check some things like for example experience so we can use this experience to check if experience is greater than zero that means there is some experience that must be given to the player we are going to call the set experience function we used from the uh, monster when we kill the monster you remember we used to give experience to the player, we're going to use the same function here. So if we want to get the player, we just call player controller dot main. That's what we did at the beginning. And then we have the set experience function. And if you see here, the summary it says add experience to the player's current experience. So we're going to set that. So oops, sorry, set experience. And how much experience we want to give? Well, that's the experience from the reward. So we just copy that and paste it inside the parameter. And that's it. That's how we get experience from the reward of the quest. So for example, what will happen if we want to get the items? Well, that's also very simple. If quest.reward.items, and this is an array of items, because we can have like a lot of different items as the reward of the same quest. So we get the length. And if the length is greater than zero, that means there is at least one item for us. So if the length of the items is greater than zero, we're going to use a for each loop. So for each variable, oops, um, here. For each variable item in, and what are we searching items in? Where are we searching the items here? In quest.world items. For each item here, we're going to uh, because right now we don't have an inventory class we're just going to print something like you get and then we're going to make um, this um, oops sorry I'm going to do this and inside here I will set the amount so quest no no, no item dot amount so you get the amount of items and then times I'm going to concatenate that with the item name. But one thing you could do is add the name to the item. But for me, I have an item database. So from the item database, I got the items. And here I can just input the item dot ID. So this is going to return the name of the item, which in this case, I think is paper or something. I forgot, like on the mummy quest, it's going to return, give us a paper as a reward. So we print that. And if you had a inventory class, this is just an example, you could do something like um, inventory dot add, and then you add the ID, ID, 
and you add the item dot mount, something like that. So you have your inventory class with the functions to add an item to the inventory. The inventory could even be the inventory could be something like a list or a dictionary, in not necessarily a class that you have. You can see I'm going to. If you see my trail, I'm going to do the inventory also soon after we finish the quest. We're almost finished with the quest. Oh, and by the way, some of you asked me to get you the Trello. Yeah, for those of you who are interested, thank you. I will send it to you. And back to the code. Yeah, we're going to make an inventory class soon. But for now, you can do your own or we can just you can just have an inventory as a dictionary in your player controller class or whatever you want. So I am going to print this and we can do something similar for the money just here, like same as the reward experience. We can use quest.reward.money greater than zero and we edit wherever we're counting our money. And that's how we receive the, the rewards from our quest. But right now we're not calling this anywhere. So if we just play the game, it's nothing's going to happen. We need to set this on the complete button. So how we do that? you remember we had a complete quest button that only appears once that our quest is finished so right now we actually want to do more than just showing the button so we're going to set an if so if the quest is finished and how we check that we have it right here so if quest manager dot instance dot is quest finished is quest finished and we have the i here for us to know which quest we're talking about if this is true, we're going to do a set of things. And one of them is setting the complete button to true. And right now we can just actually call true because we are within this if statement. So we know that the quest is completed. And we also want to set the on click listener of that button. So how we do that? First, we get the button, which is in UI manager dot instance dot actually it's just here you can just copy this and we're going to get something called on click and on click has something called add listener which is a function that let us add a listener and how we add it you can add an action to that listen uh, you can add an action to that on click by doing this so just copy how I type that like that and we're going to add whatever we want here so the first thing we want to happen here is call this function. I'm going to copy this and we need to give it a parameter. So what quest are we talking about here? And that is this quest. We can get it from the quest manager uh, quest dictionary here. So quest manager instance quest dictionary and we give the quest ID here, just like before when we show the quest info. Right, so now we received the quest and we should get the reward. So we can actually go and try that. So if I play this, oh, and by the way, I first I want to change something in the quest because I don't want to go around killing 10 mummies. So I just change the task here. The kills, I set the amount instead of being 10, I just set it to one so I can kill one mummy and finish the quest. So I'm going to go here click on the NPC slay one mummy okay so now I go and kill one mummy and you saw I got some experience from that mummy but now I'm also going to get some experience because I completed this quest so now if I click complete you saw we <laughs> leveled like eight levels and we got a lot of experience because actually we set it to 400 experience so but I completed it and I can keep completing it you see is so I can just become the highest level player just by finishing one quest so we don't want that so next thing we have to do here in our code is remove this quest from our active quest and set it into our finished quest how we do that very simple we go to player data dot active quest and we use the function remove and how we remove we just give the id of the quest which is i in this case so we remove it from active quest and now we need to add it to player data dot finish quests and we just add 
the ID of the quest because this is just a list of IDs remember so we have that the finished quest and now because we here we check if the finished quest contains this quest that means we finished that quest already we're not going to do any of this so we try it again and we go here we accept the quest we kill one mummy kill it and now we complete the quest and actually we can still get this and why that happens is actually because the function is still inside this complete button so we'll, as many times as we click it we're going to get the reward that amount of times however when we call this uh, nothing's when we close it nothing's going to happen because that quest is already finished so that's what we did so we need to add one more thing which is remove the listener from the button so we're going to copy this and now instead of add listener we're just going to remove all listeners so we're going to remove all the listeners from the complete button we, because we just need to we, we just want the player to be able to press the complete button once right to get the reward once then now if we play talk with the NPC and go kill mommy we kill it and go back and we complete the button I mean we complete the quest and it doesn't work again so the last thing we have to do is close this window so that we cannot see this quest again besides seeing it in our quest book so we're going to simply call the UI manager and we have a reference to the quest info so instance.quest info and we're going to get the game object because that's a transform so we get the game object set active false that means we want to close the quest info now if I play this it should close whenever I finish the quest so I accept go to kill mommy 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 die mommy and now here complete and it's closed now if I click on the NPC nothing happens because we finished the quest so yeah that's basically how we get the reward from the quest and how we set our complete button and there's one more thing I want to show you guys so you remember how this is actually a we said that one NPC can hold multiple quests so let's give the witch doctor another quest we before we made another quest called wooden leg I have it here the zero one so we're going to set the NPC controller here on the inspector we have the quest I'm going to set that to the size to two and the second quest is going to have the index one so <clears throat> if I play now it should work of because of how we set things before so if I talk with him it tells us there is mummies everywhere so we accept that we help him kill some mummies and now we go and complete the quest so thanks for killing mummies and now complete we level up so, uh, a lot of times now if we talk with him again he's going to check okay this quest is finished so I'm not going to show the quest info and I'm going to see the next quest so now he talks about the wooden leg lumber so he talks us about the second quest and because this quest we don't have the items part set yet and this quest is about bringing some items it's already completed and we haven't even accepted so we can do some checking uh, for this I think you can do it on your own but basically that's it and if we actually complete this quest we're going to get a wooden sword and 300 experience and I can show you if I press complete here we you get one times wooden sword and we got more experience that took us to level 13 so now if I talk with him there's no more quest left so you could uh, just ignore it or you could add some dialogue and make him talk with you uh, or some stuff like that you could make some things happen that depends on the design of your game that's basically it, what I have for you today and on the next lesson, I think we are pretty much done with the quest. So I'm going to tidy up the UI. I'm going to show you what things I do. And then the next big step is making the inventory. So I hope you guys look forward to for that. I have lots of fun making these videos. Sorry that I'm not very active uploading videos these few days. I'm very busy with a lot of things. I'm moving to my new place. I'm still moving. 
I at my job I have a lot of things to do but I want to thank you all for keep watching my videos sticking up with me and I believe that soon we will be making great stuff even greater than now so thank you and I want to thank also my patrons at patreon as always they really really provide me with the opportunity to spend more time making these videos so thank you very much and if you want to also become a patron you can go to patreon the link is down in the description and you can also help me by liking this video and subscribing to my youtube channel I want to thank you all and i will see you next time goodbye peace